Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Please welcome Fred Setterberg, author of Sam Maloof, 36 Views of a Master Woodworker. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so 2016, it marks the centennial of Sam Maloof's birth. Tell us who Sam Maloof is. Sam was one of the leading woodworkers. He worked out of uh, the Pomona Valley, and he's known for his furniture and the extraordinary house that he really sculpted over a period of about 30 years. Uh, his iconic piece is the rocking chair. If you know one thing about Sam, you've seen his rocking chair. It's collected at the uh, Boston Fine Arts Museum, the Met, uh, museums all around the world. So his was the first rocking chair? Oh no, he didn't invent the rocking chair. He just has chair. a distinct, yeah, <laughs> he has yeah, a distinct. That's right. Uh, he has one foot in the arts and crafts movement. He moves slowly through Scandinavian modern and he very gradually, over a period of, of a, a very long career, he died at, at age 92, uh, fashioning about 5,000 pieces of furniture. But he, he slowly evolved into this, this really warm, sensuous style that's sort of unmistakably the, the Maloof crafting style. And how about the community that influenced him? Yeah, right after the war, uh, there were a lot of artists who came to the Claremont Colleges, guys who had been in the Pacific and in Europe. And they took the opportunity to spend time in, in the studios there, uh, mastering their crafts in sculpture and, and painting. And Sam was part of that. He wasn't a student, but he was the uh, assistant for a man named Millard Sheets, who headed up the art school in, uh, in one of the Claremont colleges there. So he suddenly suffused in this art world. It was something he didn't really know about, but Millard drew him into it. And at that point, uh, he had studied some commercial art but Sam decided that he would become a furniture maker. Surprised everybody. Uh, but he started working out of his house, and uh, that's what he did for the rest of his life. His house, of course, became a work of art itself. It moved from being a, uh, what he called a 800 square foot dingbat bungalow <laughs> into this 22 room. Um, woodworkers, well, sort of, palace is not the right word. It's just, it, there's not really another house like it. A piece of art. A piece of art that, that was made for use. Yes. And that's very much uh, his, his direction as an artist. Now, he always introduced himself as a woodworker. His card said, Sam Maloof, woodworker. But in fact, he was a MacArthur Fellow genius. In, in 1985, he was the first craftsman to receive a MacArthur Fellow. Wow. Uh, he's one of the most influential woodworkers in the world. In fact, his good friend, Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter, lesser known as a woodworker, right. but also an important part of his life. How did that friendship come about? Well, that's interesting. Uh, Sam was a great admirer of, of President Carter. Sam, f of Lebanese descent, uh, strongly supported President Carter's work on the peace process in the Middle East. And he sent uh, the president one of his rocking chairs. And the White House promptly responded saying, sorry, we can't accept gifts over $100. Mm -hmm. So when the, uh, President Carter left office, Sam drove this rocking chair in his car 2,100 miles across the country to Plains, Georgia. And that was the beginning of a, a, a very intimate friendship. I, I interviewed President Carter in Georgia, and he told me that Sam was almost a brother to him wow. and that he was one of the most influential people in his life in terms of sort of setting the frame of how one lives a life. And I thought, well, really? I mean, you're president of the United States. Right. You won the Nobel Prize. But, but in fact because he was a woodworker too, he understood what was involved in making a, a beautiful piece of furniture. The, the patience, the dedication to craft, the ability to tolerate tedium, mm -hmm. to, to do anything interesting, to make anything beautiful. You have to take on a lot of tedium. And, and he likened the making of a great piece of furniture to mounting a presidential campaign, which he said, has more tedium than you can ever imagine. So the rocking chairs, I, what do they sell for? Are they pretty expensive or? Well, you'll now see them uh, that have Sam's signature. You'll see them at auction for $75,000. A lot of money. Yeah, but this isn't the, he was primarily a craftsman and an artist. He was not interested in, in sure. money except uh, sure. making a living and supporting his family. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of offers throughout his career to, uh, mass produce his work to, to buy the, the forms themselves. And he just wasn't interested. He wanted to have his hands on the wood. And he also wanted to have a direct connection with his customers. One of his friends told me that Sam aimed to make 
every customer a friend, and it seems that he did that. Yeah, that is great. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on and thank telling you us so about much. Sam Appreciate Maloof. It. And for more information on Sam Maloof, 36 views of a master woodworker, just log on to fredsetterberg.com. That's it. Have a great day.